sit down with your family and ask them what meals do they really want to eat this week. And that's a great way to get everyone involved and create a food menu together. Watching home with Hannah in today's video I really wanted to share with you how I plan my food for the week and how I plan like my meals and everything like that so I want to share with you how you can plan your food menu for the week as well as how you can make it easier for yourself when it comes to grocery shopping buying your food and making sure that you're prepared for all of the meals that you're going to be cooking so yeah I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks on how I make it a lot easier for myself I feel like a lot of people when they think of cooking and um, meal planning and stuff like that, they think it's stressful and a lot of work when actually it's just so much easier to be prepared and know what you're going to be cooking in advance. Also, you're gonna be saving so much money through this and I'm gonna get into that in a moment, but it's gonna stop you from nipping to the shop every couple days for you know, the ingredients that you need for a meal that you've planned on cooking that night. Um, you're gonna be prepared, so you only have to do one food shop a week, maybe pick up a few bits towards the end of the week, but that's about it, and you're not gonna be tempted to order a takeaway in or eat out if it's not necessary. So let's get straight into the video, and I really hope that this video helps you out when it comes to food shopping, making your life a little bit easier. Right, so my first tip when it comes to being prepared and doing your food shop plan in advance, I recommend that you have a budget. Now every family is going to be different when it comes to creating your budget, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you how much money you should be spending on your food every week. So for me, it might be a lot easier because I only have to buy food for two people. So my budget is a lot less probably than a family of four. So yeah, but when it comes to planning your food budget, I would suggest, this is what I do, 50 pound maximum per week per person. And I think if you go off of that, unless you have a really, really big family, um, I think it can be affordable if you do it that way. If you work with a budget, it's gonna stop you from overspending. And I'm gonna be sharing with you as well some ways that I am able to budget when it comes to food shopping. Um, make sure that what you're buying, you actually need. And that leads me to my next tip. And my next tip is to create a food menu. And I don't mean like an extravagant menu. It doesn't have to be breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, honestly, all I do is I will um, take this notebook. My sister got me this notebook for Christmas or my birthday. I forget which one, but it's really cute. Um, and it's for planning your week and I use it as a food menu. It just sits in my kitchen like this and it's Monday through to Sunday, and um, it's currently Saturday right now, so I'm gonna be creating a new one tomorrow. So all I do is I simply just write down what I'm cooking every single night, Monday through to usually Saturday, and then Sunday I'll just cook whatever I've got left over, and I'll start again fresh on Monday. Um, I like to jazz it up a little bit, put a little bit of glitter on there, and um, make it more of like a creative thing for me, um, where I sit down for five minutes every week, and I just have fun with it. It's not a stressful thing, it's fun, and it's fun to be prepared as well. It stops me from getting stressed at nighttime, and because you're prepared, you've got all the ingredients in your cupboards, in your fridge, and it's ready to go. So I definitely recommend creating a menu. Now, I don't put breakfast or lunch down because we basically have the same things every single day. Ben will have some cereal. I'll have some, like, fruit or toast. So... It's very, very simple, and I'll just make like whatever we've got in for lunch. It's usually a salad, something like that. I will make every day. I don't need to write that down. I just make sure that when I'm creating my food list, um, that I've got the ingredients that I need for making breakfast and lunch. Just because I'm saying create a food menu doesn't mean I'm saying you have to create these fancy, fancy meals. 
but I would recommend putting meals down that you enjoy cooking and your family enjoys eating. My boyfriend, he loves to cook as well, so some nights he'll cook, some nights I'll cook. Having a menu is great because if I'm not in the mood for cooking, but Ben is, he can just look on this and go, right, tonight's fajita night, I'll start cooking fajitas while Hannah's still at work, like that type of a thing. Um, work as a team, work together, and sit down with your family and ask them what meals do they really want to eat this week. And that's a great way to get everyone involved and create a food menu together so you can make it fun with your family with your children and ask them what they would love to eat and then putting it on the menu they could even help you cook the meals and yeah it just makes it more fun and more enjoyable so moving on to my next tip, I would really recommend that before you create your grocery list and um, also when you're looking at your menu and you're looking at what ingredients you need, um, look in your food cupboards. Look in your cupboards, look in your pantry, see what you've got in the fridge that is still good and you can still use and write down what you've already got and make sure that you're making use of that. So many times I've spent money on food when I've not actually needed to because I've already got it in and maybe I have multiple of that and I just keep buying and buying and I'm creating my own stockpile when I don't really need to. I've got a small kitchen. I wanna make sure that I'm using the space wisely and I'm not just buying and buying and buying the same product when I'm not actually making use of that. So I would recommend going into your food cupboard, seeing what you've got in and how you can make use of that and looking at your menu, what ingredients do you need, have you already got it in and therefore you don't need to add it to your list. So that is my third tip and I would really recommend that you do that before creating your food list. Now, the next tip is to create a grocery list. When you're planning your food for the week, you want to make sure that you're not forgetting a main ingredient because a lot of the time if you go to the store and you might have an idea of what you need, you'll forget like the main thing and you'll leave thinking, I went in for that and I came out without it. So if you have a list in front of you, you're then able to tick the items off as you go and that just makes it a lot easier and you don't have to think about forgetting something then. So I would look at your food menu, Make a list of what ingredients you need. Check your food cupboards, have you already got it? If not, add it onto your grocery list. And something I do um, is I do a food list online because I order my food online. And this is a tip when it comes to budgeting for food. Something I would really recommend is you can order food online nowadays. Technology is amazing and I would definitely make use of this if you're trying to save money because it's so handy. You can have food delivered right to your door. When I do my food shop online, I'm able to kind of save my order and then next week it makes it so much easier for me because I just basically say add this order to my basket. I add it again to my basket. I go through that grocery list that I had last week and I just delete the items I don't need and then I just type in the items that I do need, add those to my basket and it's done. And also I'm able to see how much I'm spending before I make the payment. So if I'm over my budget, what do I do? I go through the list again, see what items maybe I don't need. Maybe I don't need the, that food, it's probably bad for me anyways, I'll get rid of it, like junk food or something. So yeah, when it comes to food shopping, um, some people love it, some people hate it. I know I have to be in the mood if I'm gonna go to a grocery store and spend time getting my food in person. I personally prefer ordering food online. So I'd really recommend that if you're trying to save money or you find food shopping quite stressful, especially on weekends when it's really busy, I would just recommend food shopping online. Or if you're going in person, I would recommend bringing a food list so that you don't forget the ingredients that you need for the food um, that you've planned for the week, as well as just making sure that you're not buying items that you don't actually need. If you stick to a list, you're then able to stick to the budget better and you're not overspending on impulse buys that you don't actually need. Okay everyone, so that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And like I said, food shopping, 
planning in advance kind of go hand in hand when it comes to food and cooking and I would just really recommend it. So I hope that you got some good tips from this video on how you can make food shopping and planning your meals for the week a little bit easier and trust me, it definitely makes your life a little less stressful, especially when it comes to cooking your meals at nighttime. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. It really helps us grow our little community here. I have a new um, upload schedule now. I'm going to be posting videos every Monday and Thursday, so make sure to tune in for those. Every Monday and Thursday at around 2 p.m. I will be uploading new videos. So make sure to subscribe and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!